retired accountant and moves to Florida. It's very counterculture. I better get some sleep. The accountants cleared the funds a week ago. Everything got wired. No one stresses the details more than me. The boat's completely cleaned. The paper trail has David Jones as the owner for the last three years. I had them name it the Little Mermaid. It's understood. The adrenaline's there to help you focus. Look, our ability to plan and execute is what we do best. It's what makes us superior. I feel like an accountant. I shave the beard and try some glasses, but that didn't suit me. How are you doing? Come on, Ava. We've, we've already been over this. I know I wanted things to go. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. Just wanted to see your face. like an account. <laughs> Why won't you tell me where you are? <laughs> I used to tell my mom that I would never, never be second peg to a guy. I would go out into the world and blaze my own trail. And here I am, crying over you. I'm sitting in a bar, asking my unborn child what is going through her daddy's head. That money that you left, David, was an insult. I don't want your money. <laughs> it's my face. He's an accountant. He wanted to be a professional tennis player, but 
he was only the 10th best tennis player in his state. So sometimes he hits people to make himself feel like he still has that killer serve. Emma meets Paul at work when he comes in to have a torn wrist ligament looked at. This is David. He is a gorgeous young FBI agent. And Emma meets him at work too, where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient in the ER calls her a bitch. So Emma stops dating Paul. She's dating David now. But Paul keeps getting drunk and calling Emma up and telling her that he loves her and sometimes that he hates her. And so David, wait a second. David starts watching over Emma's apartment. Every night after they go on a date, the handsome FBI agent sits outside in his car and watches over her while she sleeps. Very romantic. David doesn't know that Emma knows this and she doesn't tell him. But, you know, it does help her sleep at night. She feels, she feels safe. So, one night, after they go out for ice cream, Paul calls, says he wants to come over. And Emma tells him to come, thinking that David will scare Paul off, and that will be that. But when Paul turns up, David waits in the car. And when Emma goes to answer the door, Paul pushes his way in. He argues with her and he cries and he rants and he raves. And Emma gives him a hug because she's a nurse and that's what nurses do when men cry. That's when David gets out of his car and comes into the apartment with his pistol drawn. And when he opens the door and he sees Paul and Emma, he doesn't look handsome anymore. He looks angry. Paul steps back and he looks scared. And Emma looks scared, too. And David fires his pistol. And he shoots Paul in the lung. It takes Paul about 10 minutes to die. Emma could have helped stop the bleeding and maybe he could have lived, but David tells her not to. It was unlikely that Paul would have made it. And sometimes David points out it's better just to let the bad guys die. After watching a guy bleed out together, they get married. That helps make things make sense. Even so, Emma is sure that she'll be scared of David forever and ever.
You waited because you wanted to save me. You wanted to be a fucking knight in shining armor. You look so small on the screen. I love you, David. But I'm not scared of you anymore. be a special agent. <laughs> well, we can't all be astronauts, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know, the, uh, the rush, the adrenaline, you get is nothing like it. You lie to people and they believe you. And I sleep like a rock at night because I know I'm helping people. So. What's your real name? And don't, don't tell me it's Snow White. What? Okay, how much? Michelle, I'm David. Michelle. <laughs> Not just getting used to it. Michelle. Let me ask you another question. What? Okay. Next time. Wait till you hear from my agent. But you are attracted to me? Thanks. government agents? 
Davy. Do you mind if I call you Davy? Okay. Well, now they do. So, Davy, you are the least horny law enforcement agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally the most twisted. Well, I can tell I am good at my job. What? I questions again. You first. Tell me. How did you end up in such an uh, exciting job? Okay, sure, but it's deeper with you. You are no ordinary cop. What was the moment when you decided you want this? I bet you were young. Hmm? Tell me. And do you want it to be this guy? Yeah. What? No, it was? from Paris. My father was a judge, a powerful man. And when I was in school, I was sleeping with a guy who was a criminal. This upset my family. They were worried about a scandal. So my father sent me to America to study. And this is where I met my husband. He worked in a bank, he made a lot of money. But he treated me badly, and so I told authorities about his insider trading. I divorced him while he was in prison. But now I had no money, and I had no education, so it's a, a man's world, Davy. But doing this, I get paid for it. And I can make men disappear like this with a butt, which is quite something. Not all the guys are like you, Debbie.
Yeah. I cross my heart. Oh, look. Here? It says Max. That was my first boyfriend. The criminal, he did the tattoo himself. It hurt a lot. He did not need his name on me. You do not trust me. Are you going to be one of my regulars? No. You just turn up, tip big. So, Davey, you are the least horny law enforcement agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally the most twisted. Well, I can tell I am good at my job. What? I questions again. You first. Tell me, how did you end up in such an uh, exciting job? Okay, sure, but it's deeper with you. You are no ordinary cop. What was the moment when you decided you want this? I bet you were young. Hmm? Tell me. And you wanted to be this guy? Yeah. What? No, it was? <laughs> you are good. Oh. Uh, well. I come from France, as you know, from Paris. My father was a judge, a powerful man. And when I was in school, I was sleeping with a guy who was a criminal. This upset my family. They were worried about a scandal. So my father sent me to America to study. And this is where I met my husband. He worked in a bank, he met 
a lot of money, but he treated me badly, and so I told authorities about his insider trading. I divorced him while he was in prison. But now I had no money and I had no education, so it's a, a man's world, Davy. But doing this, I get paid for it. And I can make men disappear like this with a butt, which is quite something. Not all the guys are like you, Debbie. Yeah, I cross my heart. Oh, look. Here says Max. That was my first boyfriend. The criminal, he did the tattoo himself. It hurt a lot. He did not need his name on me. You do not trust me. Are you going to be one of my regulars? No. You just turn up, tip big. the best agent of them all. Hmm? Hmm? Remember why we only give these jobs to agents with wives. Right, that's better. Those two are your targets for phase three. We know she thought a favor with him, and that's why the plan works so well. Not the obvious route into the organization, but she's credible. <laughs> oh, crap, she's just worried about you meeting her ex. People are simple machines. The digestive system's easily confused. Excellent. Let them approach you. Let's leave that for the final report. Well, I got Alba ready for camp, made her a spectacular lunch. No PB&J, otherwise she has to sit at the peanut table. At work, I pulled a messy code blue back from the brink and administered a sub-Q insulin that my patient didn't even feel. Picked Alba up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. And then we had to watch a Disney princess movie because Mama sent us the damn box set. Could I call you back after your alpha goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. Could I call you back after your alpha goes down? 
It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. Picked Alba up, made her dinner, soup, because her two farts. <laughs> and then we had to watch a Disney princess movie because Mama sent us the damn box set. Hey, could I call you back after Alba goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. Well, you know, I mean, Alba loves having me there, honey. She's there to help. She's an extra pair of hands. Hey, Laura. Yeah, yeah I, I heard, I heard you, you came to help my two girls, so I really appreciate that, Laura. Yeah, well, okay, we have, we both have important jobs, Laura, that, that's our life now, okay? Sorry. Okay. We can make this work. Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alba in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. <sighs> God. <laughs> no, you're not. And she's right. That's what's so infuriating. I got this. It's fine. You go catch some bad guys. I wanted Alba to be one of the more modern heroines, but Mama bought the costume. So. I love it. And she loves it. Oh, doesn't she look so pretty? Oh, Halloween is so important to children, and I wanted her to feel special. It's fine, Mama. Hey, why don't you go play in your room, sweetheart? Alba is fine. Look, Mama, this is a family. David is here, and he's working. He's always working. Walks in the door and he expects me to have my best face on. Mama. You're never gonna keep a man up for keeping you so opinionated. Oh. I'll run the bath. Okay. You have to be here for Thanksgiving and the recital, okay? I sent you the date. The Bureau was very insistent that we were a strong family unit. You'd think they'd want to make some effort to keep things that way. We should frame that report with our diplomas. We're both 
great at taking tests. I gotta go. Alba is fine. Look. Alba is so happy to have her Mima here. And I guess if she really is sick, then it's better that she's here instead of on her own in Texas, you know? Screw you. You don't get to be jealous. Alba is so happy. Alba is so A retired accountant and moves. The accountants clear the funds. Yeah, I feel like an accountant. You look like an accountant. He is an accountant. special agent. Wait till you hear from my agent. As government agents? So Davey. <laughs> Could I call you back after? Picked Alba up, made her. Well, you know, I mean, Alba loves having me there. I mean... Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alba? I wanted Alba to be one of the more. Alba is fine. Alba. 
Alba is so happy to have her Mima here. And 